Antibodies are a major sticking point throughout the twists and turns of this extremely peculiar pandemic. But just how important is the role of antibody testing in battling the spread of COVID-19? Take a look. Months ago, during the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, our country had a major testing shortage to detect active coronavirus infections. But antibody tests were widely available, so people flocked to get one. However, there is still confusion about what an antibody test really is. Antibody tests check your blood by looking for disease-specific antibodies, which may tell you if you had a past infection with the virus that causes COVID-19. Antibodies are proteins that help fight infections and can protect against getting a disease again. But antibody tests won't tell you if you have a current active COVID-19 infection. So how reliable are antibody tests? Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, reports. COVID-19 antibody tests like this one are often seen as the passport to coronavirus-free life, but they're not always accurate. So today I made appointments to get several antibody tests, all from different manufacturers, to see if I in fact have antibodies. Now, I don't know if I've ever had coronavirus, but I might have been exposed due to traveling, so I'm very curious what my results will be. I've arrived at my first test. Here we go. Here we go. It's just gonna be a little quick. Okay. okay. One, two, three. I got my first test results back and they're negative for coronavirus antibodies. So I'm on my way for my second test. Dr. Zagoni, tell me about the antibody test you're gonna be giving me today. Yep, so this is a rapid antibody test by Helgen. It has 100% sensitivity and over 97% specificity, which are some of the best I've seen in the industry. We're looking at two different antibodies. So IgG is past infection, IgM is current infection, although there is still that initial window where we might not pick it up because the antibodies aren't developed yet. A nice deep breath in. Poke, you're a good bleeder, there we go. What could be causing these false positives on these antibody tests? It's because most of the tests out there could be cross-reacting with a previous coronavirus, a cold. Also see less accuracy is if they have other severe diseases as well. A negative result again? Next, I met with pathologist Dr. Pune Bezai to find out what the FDA is doing to police the influx of antibody tests that get on the market. There were so many antibody tests the lateral flow antibody tests on the market because the FDA allowed them to basically be in use while their application was being reviewed. And then the FDA decided to retract that. So now there's a list of tests that are on a do not use list. And then there's the test that you're able to use. Another antibody test down, another negative result. Now I'm going to quick stop urgent care for my following test. I'm here with Dr. Pazeski and he's going to administer my antibody test. Uh, we can have patients start with the antibody test and if they need to, progress to the PCR test. So essentially, if you have positive IgM antibodies, then you would want to get a PCR test to see if you have active COVID? Yeah, that's the most accurate test. I just got another negative antibody test result, so I'm off to my final test. I'm here with Dr. Jeffrey Toll and I'm about to get my blood drawn, a real blood test a for real the blood antibody test. test. Why do you want to do that versus these quick tests? Those tests don't quantify exactly how many antibodies you, you have, so that's one part of it. And since so many were approved through the EUA process, it's, it's a little bit tough to know which ones are as accurate as these machines, like a blood draw, where we can really figure out if they're accurate or not. So that's a wrap for my long day of coronavirus testing. I got poked and prodded a lot, but I should have my final test result back in a few days.